Hey, everybody. Oops. I hit. Sorry about that. <laughs> this crazy, crazy phone. I'm tired of this mess now. What's going on with this crazy phone? All right. Maybe I've got it. Hmm. I think we're all muddled here. Let me pull it back this way. No wonder I had it too far up. <laughs> All right, let me get my notes out of my way here. Like, I'm supposed to be prepared, you know? You'd think I would be. Let me see if I can find myself on Facebook here real quick. And, uh, it's doing the sound there. Today, hey Debbie, okay. I think I'm ready. <laughs> Evening, yeah. Well, afternoon here. Afternoon, I'm gonna tell you, I'm getting a little crazy. It's been a little crazy day. I tell you, uh. We're going to be using Warm and Toasty, and we're going to use this reindeer right here. We're going to use Warm and Toasty Wishes to You on the inside of our card. On the front, no, that's the front of our card, I'm sorry. <laughs> on the inside of our card, we are using, let me see, you find the stamp set. <laughs> Itty bitty Christmas. We're using Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I've got that on a B block. I've got Warm and Toasty Wishes to You on a C block. And our deer is on a D block. And we are going to be using some of this wonderful um, sheer red, real red ribbon. So pretty. So pretty. I'm going to have to show you my goof. Oh, boy, I goofed. <laughs> I mean, I really goofed. I only have... This is doing fine. Good. I'm glad y'all are doing fine. Yay. I want to tell you. I only have... Uh, this one will make card number five because I have to show y'all what I did to the other one that was supposed to be in card number five. Here's our envelope. Well, here's our ribbon. It's cut. This I'm going to to this uh, let me see if I can get my mouth going. <laughs> yes, I love that ribbon. Uh, I'm going to step my sentiment goes on the front on this piece of Whisper White and I'm going to back it with this real red. We have a piece of four by two and three quarters for our inside sentiment. I have a piece of real red, just a scrap piece, and a scrap piece of uh, Whisper White Thick that I'm going to stamp on. Now, I've already stamped my uh, layers because I'm coloring the ribbon only, and that took a little bit, so I didn't want you to have to wait while I colored the whole thing. Uh, these are five and... Five and... Litter. What did I do with my notes? <laughs> but the size I always cut them here, you know. This well, doggone it. Five and three eighths by four and an eighth. I am just so out of it here today. And here's our card base is real red and it is eight by four, eight, five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And I'm eight and a half by four five and a half. Boy, I don't even know what size I'm doing here. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and give that crease, that uh, real nice, good, crispy crease here. This real red just gives you a good crisp crease. So anyway, we're going to start out by doing our stamping. So I'm going to stamp our uh, reindeer in tuxedo black. Yeah, I went and got my hair cut this morning. Then I went and got Debbie. I... Hi, Connie. I'm glad you're here. Debbie, I got my flu shot this, today after I got my hair cut. So I just wanted you to know. Yep, I got it. I got it. 
my other appointment that we talked about that you said everybody needed to have that is in, into November before they had an opening. Yeah, so I took the first, well, the second one they had in November. The first one is the day I have to work, so I took the first available one that I didn't have to work. So I got that appointment made, so I'm taking care of that. Now, we're going to take our um, light, real red stamping blend. I'm going to color, like I said, all I'm coloring is the, the ribbon here on here. A reindeer. This is so cute. So, so cute. Just love this reindeer. Too bad we can't color his nose red since it's black, but that's all right. It doesn't have to have a red nose. It doesn't have to be Rudolph, you know. Santa had quite a few reindeer, and Rudolph wasn't the only one. So, this is one of the, this is probably one of the girls anyway. <laughs> well, no, she has it's reindeer, it's antlers, so probably not a girl. Whatever, I don't know. I don't know that much about reindeer to know if they have antlers or which do and which don't and all that stuff, you know. <laughs> all right, we're going to use some real red. Here we're going to stamp our sentiment on the inside piece and on this piece right here. We'll go ahead and do this piece first. That way if I mess up, since it's not straight on my block. But I know if I can get this. Wait a minute, let me turn this around. <laughs> this piece here straight, then it's going to be pretty straight on my uh, piece of card stock here. And I'm going to tell you, the reason I cut this is when I did the others. Okay, that's a little over that way, but I'm not going to fret it. Not going to fret it. It's whenever I tried to cut the other pieces down, I wasn't straight. And so I couldn't get any of them straight, and I had to do a lot of maneuvering stuff. Let me make sure I've got this in the, going in the right direction. <laughs> And uh, so, anywho's, that's why I went ahead and cut it, and that's crooked. Let's try that one again. That's better. You know, I might try this one again. Unless, now I don't like that side because of how I cut it. Alrighty, I'm gonna close that up. I'm gonna go ahead and take us. Use our liquid glue here, and we're going to put this right here. Liquid, I love my liquid glue. Because that way, if I don't have it centered, I can scooch it around. Because, see, I've got it too far down that way, so I'm going to scooch it up this way. And now, ta-da! All right. Now we're going to take our card base. We're going to lay this layer on the inside. Just like this. Centering it. Just like that. And as you see, somehow or another I have a line right there with my marker, but Oh, well, it happens. Okay, now I need to put in a little something here. So I'm going to take my deer and I'm going to stamp that right there for the inside. And I'm going to go ahead because I'm going to do that on my envelope also. So we're going to go ahead and stamp that right there. Ta -da! See, now I didn't stamp way up because I didn't want to um, color the ribbon on these. And I didn't really want the ribbon in the picture. I just wanted enough to say. Everybody look at it and say, oh, look at there. Must be a reindeer on the inside. 
<laughs> Hi, Lynn Mott. How are you? I'm glad you're here. This is just going to be a super short video. I'm telling you. I was ready for a change. Yeah, I know. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to take... Let me cap this for a moment. We're going to take some glue dots. And we're going to take this ribbon here. And the sheer red, red ribbon. Whew. We're just going to put a glue dot on each end. And it being sheer, you can feel the glue dot through it. And it sticks to you. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. And you can put it here. I'm going to show you some of mine. I put it down here. Some of them I put it up here. It does not matter which end you put it. You can do either way. And uh, it looks cute either way. So I'm going to do it this way. Pull my card base back in here. Open up my liquid glue. And put us some on the back here. I think I got a little bit much right there in them little spots, but that's okay. I'll just do it that way. Now I'm going to turn it over. And this is in the little get it in the center on the front. Now then oh, that is something right there. There. Well, whatever it is, it doesn't want to all come off. I'll just scoot it up there. All right. Now, we're going to close our liquid glue up. And we're going to get our stamping and our stamping up cut in emboss machine over here, and we're going to get our one, two, and two threes plates here and we're going to put our little deer right there and we are using the um, layering ovals to cut with. I'm going to cut the reindeer out with the smooth edge. I'm going to take this piece of real red and we're going to do it with the scalloped edge dies and then just run them through. I know I, I like to use these walking not waking. Okay I can't see everything you say saying Debbie I'll have to look again. Okay now then let's get this moved out of the way and we'll finish this card up. <clears throat> emboss machine. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. I used the next size up on my scallop so I'd have plenty of, of a um, frame around my reindeer. Instead of it being just right at the edge, I wanted to have more of a frame so I went one size up from my uh, smooth edge. Now, of course, we're going to have to use some stamping dimensionals to find what I did with them. I have hid everything over here. I don't know what's going on with me today. I just, whew. Tell you what, yesterday, oh, uh, <laughs> Our freezer on our refrigerator has gone kaputty. It just stopped working. Everything was thawing out. So we have a big upright freezer. So me and Johnny were trying to get everything into that freezer. And he started out, I was handing stuff to him and he was putting it in there. Well, <laughs> you know. Being a woman, I didn't think he was doing it right, so I took over putting stuff in the freezer, 
and uh, I had my house shoes on. <laughs> and you know how whenever you buy extra ground meat, when you buy the family pack, you don't use it all up at once, you freeze it. And when you put it in freezer bags, you pat it out flat. So it'll lay flat in the freezer. Well, the very top shelf of the upright freezer had a pack of that in there. And I knocked it, I reckon. I, I must have hit it or something. And it fell out. And when it fell out, it fell between my first toe and my middle toe on my right foot. And, 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 and made a nice V gashing right there, not right between my toes. Part of it's between my toes. Most of it's on top of my foot. And uh, so I called Urgent Care. Well, they won't stitch up right now because they're sending everybody to ER because they're testing for COVID. And so I told my doctor's office, well, they don't do stitches in the office. I needed to go to the ER, and I wouldn't. I told Johnny, I said, I'm not going to the ER. I am not going to the ER. I don't want to go out there and catch something. So cleaned it up. We bandaged it up. And I'm doing fine. <laughs> it's going to be all right. It, 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 it's going to be okay. I've claimed it. It's going to be okay. Anyway, here is my cards. Is this not just so cute? Just love these cards. I just love that reindeer. Love these colors. <laughs> and yep, like I said, I have five now instead of six. And this is why I put the inside piece in first. And then when I went to put my front on the very first one, this is what I did. <laughs> I had it laying upside down like this and I just picked it up and laid it down and just put it on there. So, I have an upside down inside and a right side up front and, you know. So, that's why I only have five cards instead of six. But that's okay. I am sure I am not the only one that's ever done that. This is not the first time I've done something crazy like this. But that it's it's been a while. <laughs> There's some glue on there. But any hoodle noodles, here is our card for today. I told y'all I'd do one. And I, have, I am prepared for Monday, I think, <laughs> unless I come up with something else. Y'all have an awesome day. Thank y'all for stopping by and, and listening to me yibby-yabby and make my card. Y'all get in your crafty space and get creative and make something wonderful. I'd love to see it. And uh, y'all stay safe and stay well. Love you guys. Good Lord willing, I'll see y'all Monday evening, 7 Central, right here on the Praying Stamper. Bye!